In this demo, we will show how an organization can use Delta sharing to seamlessly share live data from the lake house with another organization on any computing platform. In this fictional scenario, an online retailer called Rolo's Gift Shop is a data provider using Databricks on AWS. They want to share their online sales transaction data with two of their inventory suppliers. One is Wedding Trinkets Company, who is also on Databricks but is on Azure, and the other is Holiday Goods Company, who is not on Databricks nor any cloud platform. This is the data provider Rolo Gift Shop's Databricks workspace on AWS, and I'm here in the Data Explorer UI. Rolo's Gift Shop wants to share the consumer data and country data tables with their suppliers. The consumer data table stores the transaction of every sale from their online shop, and the country data table stores which countries the online shop has made sales in. Okay, so let's share this retail data with our suppliers. In the new Delta sharing section in the shared by me page, as a provider, I can manage my shares and recipients. Let's create recipients, which will represent the wedding trinkets company and holiday goods company. I know that this company uses Databricks, so I'll need to ask them for their unique sharing identifier in order to start sharing data with them. I have a point of contact from Wedding Trinkets Company named Rachel, so I sent her an email asking for their sharing identifier, and she sends me this string. And let's put a comment so that others on my team know whom from Wedding Trinkets Company they can contact if needed. On the details page for this recipient I created, I can see that the authentication type is Databricks because this is a Databricks to Databricks sharing connection. So the sharing connection is automatically activated. Okay, so now let's create a recipient for Holiday Goods Company. Holiday Goods told me that they don't use Databricks. They just want to use Power BI to analyze and visualize the data. So I don't have any sharing identifier to input here but I'll add a comment as well. For this recipient, I'm shown an activation link, which I can send to Holiday Goods so that they can download a file containing their unique token credentials and use Power BI or any Delta sharing connector of choice to consume the data. On the details page for this non-Databricks recipient, notice that the authentication type is token and the status is pending, which means that Holiday Goods Company hasn't downloaded their token credentials yet. I can copy over this activation link and email it to James at Holiday Goods. Now let's see what it hypothetically looks like if James clicks on the activation link that I sent him. This brings him to a page where he can download the credential file containing the token and use it to consume data via any Delta sharing client. Now switching back to Rolo Gift Shop's workspace, the status is now activated. Now let's create a share and I will call it online sales. And I'll add a comment to note that this share contains online sales transactions for Rolo's gift shop. Now let's add the two tables to the share and I can use these filters at the top to quickly find the data. So I'm adding the consumer data and the country data tables. And let's add the two recipients to give them access to this share. Wedding Trinkets Company and Holiday Goods Company. Great, so within minutes, we've shared the data with both of our suppliers. And everything I've done so far could be done through a SQL query editor or notebooks as well. So let's briefly look at what it looks like in a notebook. I can create a Databricks consumer um, using create recipient using this sharing identifier here. And I can see that the authentication type is Databricks. For a consumer who's not using Databricks, I can simply run a create recipient command, and this will give me the activation link that I can send them to download their token. I can create an, uh, a share by doing a create share command with a comment. I can easily add tables to the share using an alter share add table command. And one of the features that we recently added to Delta sharing is change data feed support. So in addition to sharing a table, a provider can choose to include the change data feed in the share, which allows a consumer to query for just the new or incremental changes instead of querying the entire table data every time. 
I can view the tables that I've added to a share by doing the show all in share command. And I can grant access permissions on the share to consumers regardless of their computing platform. So you can see that the command here is grant select on share to recipient regardless of whether they're a Databricks consumer or not on Databricks. And I can describe a recipient to view de details like their authentication type. Um, and if the authentication type is token based, I can see that the, uh, the activation link is, is here as well. So now I've shown that a data provider can use Delta sharing to share data with recipients um, regardless of their compute platform through a simple SQL API or a UI. Now let's switch over to what the experience looks like from Wedding Trinkets Company's perspective. Okay, so now I am a data consumer, Wedding Trinkets Company, and I'm using Databricks on Azure. In the Data Explorer, in the Delta Sharing section on the Shared With Me page, I can see a list of data providers who have shared assets with me. On the top right is where I can find my unique sharing identifier, which I can copy and email over to data providers. And this was what was copied over to Rolo's gift shop earlier to initialize the sharing connection. Here in the list of providers is Rolo's gift shop, which automatically showed up just a few minutes ago after they used my sharing identifier to initialize a connection and share data with me. If I click on Rolo's gift shop, I can see the online sales share and I can see the details on which cloud and region the provider is on. Okay, so let's create a catalog from the share. And let's add a comment as well. Now that I've imported this share as a catalog on Unity Catalog, this data could be accessed from the data tab and it shows up just as the rest of the data from within my company. Because Delta sharing on Databricks is tightly integrated with Unity Catalog, this gives Databricks customers a unified experience for managing and working with data both from within the company and with data shared with me from another organization as well. So I can click on the retail database that's been shared with me and I see the two tables, consumer data and country data. And if I click on a table, I can see the schema as well. And I can grant access to the data to data engineers within my company on this shared data. So again, everything I did as a data consumer on this UI, I could do via a SQL API as well using the notebooks. So let's see what that looks like. So I can run a select current Metastore to get my unique sharing identifier to share with providers. And once the provider uses my sharing identifier to set up a sharing connection with me, I can show providers to see the list of the providers. I can view a provider by doing a describe provider. And I can view the data that the provider has shared with me by doing a show shares in provider. And I can see the online sales share here. I can create a catalog from the, from the share. Um, and once I import the data as a catalog, I can query the data as I normally would. So I can do a select star from catalog database schema, catalog database table. And I can see all of the data in the consumer data table. I can do a select star from Rolo's gift shop retail country data to see all the country data that has been shared with me. So I can run data analysis on the shared data. And here's a query to find the top 20 countries by total revenue. And it looks like most of my revenue comes from the United Kingdom. I can find out what are the top 10 most popular items overall and see that white hanging heart tea light holder and Regency cake stand three tier um, are the top two items that I sell on Rolo's gift shop. And I can make sure that these items are always in stock so that I can maximize my profit. And here's a query to find the most popular item by country, which shows me that white hanging, tea light, white hanging heart tea light holder is popular in the UK and postage is popular in Germany and France. Um, so you can see that I can get some good business value out of the data that has been shared with me. So to recap, in this demo, we saw how a provider can easily share data via a simple SQL API or UI with any recipient who can be on Databricks or not on Databricks. And we saw how easy it was for a recipient to access and query the data that is shared with them also through a SQL API and a UI. Thanks for watching.